Today we're going to talk about PHP programming and sessions and the session array and session variables. Uh, so a couple of quick questions to get started. What is a session? What are sessions versus cookies? Um, what kind of temporary storage are we talking about? Uh, and how sessions are actually used and coded? Um, so a, a session is a way to temporarily store data. Uh, about a user um, while they're uh, visiting your website. Um, a cookie is another way to do that. The big difference between a session and a cookie is a uh, cookie is permanent data that is stored on the client side. Um, a session is temporary data that is stored uh, both server side and a little bit of it on client side. Uh, we say that a session is temporary storage uh, because a session, uh, once uh, there's ways to end a session, there's actually three ways to end a session, uh, and we'll talk about those a little later. Um, session variables use the session super global array, very similar to the post and get arrays, uh, and we can use sessions for all kinds of purposes um, to store login information, um, to store information about our user, user preferences, all kinds of different things once they're uh, once they're logged in. So let's get started. Um, to use sessions on a site, this piece of code, uh, session start function, has to be called um, at the top of each page. Um, it must be the first code on the page. Uh, if you want to, you can put that into an include that's brought into the, each page with other pieces of information, but it has to be the first thing before any output. Um, and then you can see here, that session variables are accessed using the associative session super global array. So on the right, in the sample code, you'll see that session start is at the top. And then further down inside of that H1, you'll see welcome. And then we're PHP echoing a session variable called name. Again, this is an associative array. Uh, so we're using uh, keys inside of the array to access uh, variable values. But again, very similar to post or get arrays. Um, so here's a, a simple session example. Uh, so at the top of each page, both page one and page two, you'll see that I have session start. On page one, I create and set three session variables. So session month is nine, session day is 17, session year is 1972. Uh, and then on page two, uh, we start that session and we echo the date is and we output month slash day slash year with a BR. At the bottom of the page, you'll see the output. And so what we're doing here is we're creating variables uh, on one page that are now accessible on any page within the site. Uh, so long as uh, the subsequent page also continues that same session. Uh, here's how we might use this for a login. Uh, so if we send information from a form uh, to login.php, uh, you'll see we're checking post username and post pass. And so if the username is equal to open and the password is equal to sesame, uh, then in that case, I'm going to set session level equal to three and session name equal to the name that they put in, uh, which was sent by the, the um, form as well. So that form was sending over a username, password, and their actual name. Uh, and so I'm going to store that user's level and their name. When I then get on to page two and start my session again, this is how we get that logged in as. You can see logged in as, and I use the session name variable. And then I say, if is set session level and session level is greater than or equal to three, then I can show the admin controls. And so I'm doing two things here. First, I'm saying, was the session level variable set? Um, and if it is set, then what is its value? And that's going to save us some possible issues. So we can, we can check it in two ways. We can check that it was set, which means that they were a valid login. Uh, and then we can check that the level is appropriate to get whatever the controls are that we want to show them. And what this allows us to do then is it allows us to have one page or even a navigation that changes based on the level of our user. So we may have, you know, one set of navigation or information that is shown for um, regular users. We may have another set of information that
that is shown for um, you know a, a second level of user and then a third level of navigation that's shown for for site admins and, and such. Uh, when we end a session, we can end it in one of three ways. One, the user closes the browser, and that typically ends our session. Uh, most sessions will time out with approximately 30 minutes of inactivity, or we can program a session end, which is also what happens when we do our logout button. Uh, so end a session programmatically, we have to remove all the values from the session variables, from the session array, and then we have to remove the session, the session directory, which is the temporary files that have been created. So session unset, that function right there removes the session variables. And then session uh, destroy removes the temporary files that, that we've stored. Notice still at the top of this page, I have to have session start. If I don't have session start, then I cannot access those sessions. Uh, here's a little bit of practice for you, um, asking you to do a little work with sessions. Um, you're submitting a form by post. The second page is getting that data and creating a session. And then that's taking you to another page, which is going to display the information from that session. Uh, good luck.